All right, so welcome back to the CAD design team. And once you have let me know through Canvas what your OnShape email address was, I'll add you to the team. And you can click on this icon here and see some of the documents that we have here. One of them is this guy here. And so if you click on it now, you'll see that you are in view only. Um, the document here is, is for view only, and which means you can't edit it. You can only view it. You can look around at it. You can actually see some of the properties, but I, I want to, to show you how to do it uh, the proper way. So I want to, you know, this is, this is not terribly useful. Um, you can see what, what the object looks like, but you can't really do much with it because I've only given you view only properties. So let's go back out to Onshape and we're in the CAD design team window again. I want you to right click on this and go to copy workspace. Okay, and you can just leave that name as is, create a copy. And that's going to be under here, created by me. All right, so this is going to be this link created by me. So now when you click on this, it's the same document. It just now has all of the tools that, that you expect Onshape to have. All right, so what I want to do is we want to take this thing that I've created, and I want you to tell me what the mass of this is. I want you to also tell me what the volume is, and I want you to tell me what the, the center of mass is um, for this object. And the way we're going to do that is through this button right here, Display Mass Properties. So if I click on the, the test part, this little guy here, this is the part, or if I come over here and just highlight my whole part, I can click on the Mass Properties button, and it turns out that the mass is empty, okay? Because we haven't told it what material we're using. We can, however, find the volume of it, okay? And so the volume is um, 164,000 cubic millimeters, all right? So uh, that is the volume, and here we have surface area of this part, all right? It's important to know that the surface area and the volume contain, or um, takes into account these little holes that I've cut through it, these weird looking holes that go all the way through. Okay. All right. So how can we find the mass? How can we find the mass of it? Well, to do that, we're going to right click on test part and we're going to go to assign material. Boom. On shape material library, which is installed by default has a huge list. Uh, sorry. has a huge list of, of, materials here that you can use. I find it's too much for us. So what we're going to do, and also I find that in some of our competitions, the densities that are used for these different materials are slightly different than what uh, the organizers of the competitions will use. So instead, what we want to do is we want to go um, into our, our Onshape library, and we want to add um, the PCR custom materials, which we've already done, in the previous video, you saw that. So now we're going to just use it here. We're going to click on the custom PCR custom materials. Okay. And this is, I say up here, it's solid gold. So we're going to go down. It's alphabetized. So we look under gold. There's the density of gold. It's highly, it's a, it's a highly dense uh, material. And there's all the materials. You click the green checkbox to accept that. And now if we click on the test part and come over here to the mass properties, now we see it's 3.169 kilograms or 3,169.7 grams. All right. The volume doesn't change. The surface area doesn't change. All that's the same. But the, here's the center of mass. Here's the Z center of mass. And the center of mass is 24.143 millimeters above the origin. So let's see what that means here. So the center this little this little dot down here is this is the origin and this little symbol here is the symbol for the center of mass so if i if i align it up like so then um 24 millimeters above that is my z component of my center of mass all right so this is very very handy uh on shape does all of the all of the heavy math and physics for you and all you have to do is literally just click on the part that you want to study or highlight the part or highlight a part of the part you want to study, display the mass properties, and that's all there is to it.